Let's take a look at the schedule importer settings for the airline pilots that will be integrating with the airline schedule importer at nc-software.com forward slash schedule. The schedule importer settings allow you to set defaults uh, for when you import your trip data. So you can uh, specify a default type. Uh, if your trip data contains the equipment or aircraft type information, that will be used with the imported data. If that is not available, Logbook Pro will fall back to the default aircraft type. And uh, same thing with the uh, ident, fin number, tail number, whichever you like to call it. Uh, some people like to actually preload. Uh, if you like to use N numbers uh, for your, your uh, tail numbers, you can preload the N, and that way when you actually go and fly, you can just type in the, uh, the 1, 2, 3, 4, and the N is already there for you. As far as the schedule importer preferences, you can determine whether or not you want to use recent recall, which is the option to enter the same values as your last flight log entry. So um, maybe, you know, now this, like your aircraft ident, maybe you last flew N1234. If you have used recent recall, then N1234 will be populated for you. So there are various fields uh, that use the recent recall such as your date, ty date type, ident, and route. Uh, you can enable autofill. So if your information coming in uh, has a 1.0, for example, and you have uh, autofill configured in Lobber Pro Desktop for the SF340A type, then if you enable autofill and those imported trips come in, the duration will be automatically populated into the autofill selected fields. Now you can also choose whether or not you want to enter a duration based off your uh, UI times from your trip data and your scheduled out and in. Um, or you can leave the default, which is don't enter a duration, and then you can calculate that duration uh, based on your actuals after the flight is flown. Uh, you can determine here in the schedule importer settings whether or not we are going to integrate with the calendar. Uh, that is when you import your trips, it will automatically create uh, appointments for those trips on your uh, specified calendar in the settings calendar area. Uh, you can choose whether or not to include deadhead in your imported uh, data. So if you only want uh, non-deadheads to be in your uh, flight list to uh, update and mark as flown, then you can turn in the option to not include deadheads in the import. Uh, collation which is whether or not to put all the legs on the same day into a single flight log entry. That would be a by day collation. If you want a uh, flight log entry for each leg of your day, then choose by leg for your collation. Now you can uh, map fields that are coming in from your imported trip data to target fields. In Logbook Pro Desktop, go to the Options, Custom, and then the Text tab. So you're going to create custom text fields to uh, be targets for your, uh, for your data. So if you had a crew custom text field in Logbook Pro Desktop, which you then sync to the cloud and sync to the app, it becomes available in the app for use, you could then map these incoming fields to custom text fields and uh, capture this information if you wish. You can also, uh, if you, uh, for example, say append in remarks, so you can put all this data into the remarks field uh, of your flight log entry, but you can also specify the template. So you have these little uh, code names, FNO for flight number, TNO for trip number. So you can actually edit this and uh, determine what order, or if you want to put any uh, brackets or parentheses or whatnot, and then you can actually create a template uh, for how the data is going to appear to any of these columns that are dependent in remarks. So in this case, you have duty on, duty off, and, and duty. Uh, those are not even going to be available unless you uh, add the append to remarks. So anything you want to go into the remarks, tap append or target with the append in remarks option. And then you can customize the template or leave it as is as you wish. So that is the settings schedule importer overview.